what is up cancer welcome to your june reading so good to see you guys welcome to my channel triple moon oracle i'm elizabeth um we're going to be doing a special reading today and or this month i should say and um, it's going to focus on summer solstice and the new energy coming in and with that new energy what is it bringing in for you specifically what is it bringing in for your sign i should say um and it's going to be a general reading it's not going to resonate for every cancer out there okay so i would really really highly recommend your moon watching your moon rising in venus too um especially if this doesn't resonate but like definitely just do it just because it'll give you a really well-rounded picture of what may be coming to you this summer okay it could be love could be you know money could be a car could be a house could be i mean a move or travel or like a, a job change or something could it even be an emotional spiritual breakthrough okay um so we're gonna see what it is and if it doesn't fully resonate you guys can always book a personal reading with me and we can look at this new energy coming in for the summer and what it's going to bring for you specifically my etsy link for that is below all right um i even offer a ten dollar for 10 minute reading and it's just kind of a special that i started and i haven't stopped it yet so take advantage of that if that's what you want to do um and let's see what else what else if it does resonate for you guys there's going to be an extended to this at the uh well watch for the you can watch the clip at the end of the reading that gives you a clip of the extended um and if you want to access the extended there's two links in the description box for that okay I will talk more about the extended and all that at the end of the reading. So let's get three main energies for you for um, this summer energy coming in. Okay, what is, tell me three main energies for Cancer. Wow, look at that. We've got poised. Poised, you are ready. You are ready. You're ready for something. Oh my God. Change in the wind. Wow. You are ready for this change. I don't know, this not for you card is speaking to me, but I'm gonna place it up here, see if any other card wants to come out. You are ready for this big shift. There's a huge shift coming for you. Um, oh my gosh, look at that. We have deep knowing, deep knowing. This is big, you guys. This is really, really big. Um, there may be something in your life that is no longer for you um that is going to be shifting in a very large big way <laughs> um and this is just saying like you're ready for this shift you're ready for this change and you've had a deep knowing like you've known deep down that this is about to happen so if that sounds like you keep watching okay because there's something that you've known and maybe you've known for a while or maybe you just started knowing it but you've known that a shift is coming maybe you don't know exactly what it is but you've known that the shift is coming and what this is telling me is that you're completely ready for the shift okay the change in the wind card is such a powerful energy because it's saying that the winds are changing direction like things have been going this way for a while and now they're about to go this way, okay? Or that way or that way. Um, they've been going east and they're about to go northwest or south. So, wow, this is really, really, really powerful. Um, let's see what this is all about. Let's clarify this. I don't know, I'm feeling led to use this deck, but let's see. Well, oh, I'm so indecisive sometimes when it comes to... Okay, I'm gonna try this deck for a second and if it's not speaking to me, I'm gonna do this one. That's what I'll do. Um, tell me about this change and this new energy coming in for Cancer, please. What are they ready for? What is this change coming in? Three of Pentacles. Could be a, a job shift, okay? Or it could just be the people that you surround yourself with. My goodness. Wow, okay. So, some of you have the death card is here. The death card is here. 
Okay. And the death card doesn't mean like literal death. So don't, please don't be afraid. All right. I used to think that before I knew what tarot and what, what the cards meant. The death card is about rebirth. It's about endings and new beginnings. So that's literally what this, these three cards are talking about. And I do feel like this not for you card is significant for um, this reading as well, because there's something that is no longer an energetic match for you that is going to be shifting. Could be the people you surround yourself with, could be friends, could be a co-worker, could be co-workers, could be a little job, something along those lines, okay? Then we have the five of cups in reverse, the high priestess in reverse, and the empress in reverse. I'm very curious. Let's get some clarification on that. Um, let me use this deck here. Tell me about the Empress in reverse, please. Okay. I think that you have... Um, I think that you've been feeling really discontented in this situation. You've been heavily focused on certain things that you can't control too. And I feel like you, um, I just, I feel discontentment from this four of cups. Ultimately there's discontentment here. And for some of you, you just haven't really been stepping into your power. You've lost that place within you a little bit. Um, and for some of you, like you haven't been seeing certain dreams come become actualized and you've been waiting for this to happen. And I think that some of you have been pushing down some kind of intuition or ignoring it or just trying to like, you know, not listen to that place in you that knows that something's about to shift. Okay. But there's a huge, um, Okay, we got the King of Wands, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. You could be dealing with a fire sign or somebody with fire in their chart. All right, tell me about the Empress in reverse, please. Wow. Okay, tell me about the Two of Pentacles. Why is the Two of Pentacles here? Gotcha. We have the King and Queen of Swords. Sorry. King and Queen of Wands here. Um, and with the Ten of Cups. Okay. I, I'm, I'm starting to feel like you have this connection with somebody. And you love them. And they bring you a lot of happiness. But you've ignored your intuition about something. And there's been a lot. It's like there's been a lot of stress around the situation. This person, you you guys may be even arguing over having kids. You may be arguing over getting married. Um, maybe one of you wants to get married, the other one doesn't. Maybe one of you wants to have kids, the other one doesn't. I mean, there could even be issues with fertility here with the Empress in reverse. The Hierophant reverse with like, there could be issues with marriage or um, I, I don't know. This is very interesting. I'm very, I'm very, very, I don't feel lost, but I also feel like, whoa, I don't know. Like, I feel like I've just scratched the surface of this. And the four of cups is telling me that there's been discontentment here in some way. It, it can also mean that you've been focusing on the wrong things. It's like, you're looking at, she's looking at these three cups here. When this, this, 
this one cup is trying to be handed to her and she's too focused on the three cups to, to recognize the one cup. And the one cup is that ace of cups, that like, that, that love energy. So this is really interesting. The two of pentacles, I feel like there's just been a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot on your plate. And this has been a very overwhelming situation. I feel like it's more than just one thing going on. There's a lot of things going on. And some of you, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if you're discontented with the connection or if you're just discontented with where the connection's at and like you want more. Maybe you both want more, but like there's issues with pregnancy or there's issues with the idea of getting married. This is really interesting, really interesting. Either way, there's a huge shift coming. And deep down, you know this shift is coming and you're ready for this shift, okay? Um, for some of you, this is a huge like rebirth, okay? But for some of you, others of you, this could be a release of a situation that isn't feeling quite right to you. Um, This is really interesting. Well, I don't, I'm going to pull one more card and see just because I'm very curious. Tell me about this king and queen of wands here. Um, you're a cancer, I know, but you could have fire in your chart. This could also represent the fact that you and this person are very passionate people. You are passionate together. Both of you have a very, like a fire in you and you go both love each other with a passion. You both go at life with a passion. Um, there's a lot of fire energy here. It does not need to mean you're a fire sign because obviously for some of you, maybe you're a Sagittarius watching this, but you're a Cancer rising. So that would make sense in that case. Um, but if you're a Cancer sun and you don't know your rising moon or Venus, don't be thrown off by the wands and the fire energy because like, well, that's not me. Like the it's just telling you that you have this fire energy within you, within this connection, it looks like. Okay, so one more card. I want to see if there's any other information that we can get in regards to this situation here. Five of Wands in reverse. Five of Cups in reverse. I've I'm, I'm got the Five of Cups in reverse here as well. It's like you want to release all of this sadness. You want to release this past, like the, the, the hurt from the past. You want to release all the conflict. I think that there's healing happening here. And like a lot of that sadness and regret and conflict and all that kind of stuff, there is a shift happening that I think is going to bring you guys over to the next phase and next level um, yeah, very interesting. Okay. So anyways, we're going to move into the extended reading. The links for that are below. There's Patreon, the one-time purchase. Um, you can access our, um, and when you sign up on Patreon, there's a bunch of different tiers that you can sign up on. All that information's in the description box. The The highest, the lowest tier is $1.11. You get access to all the extendeds. Highest tier is $25 a month. You get access to all extended. You get discounts on my jewelry and on readings. You get a 30-minute re personal reading every single month, which is a $50 value. When, right now, when you guys sign up on Patreon, you're going to get put into a drawing for a free 30-minute reading, okay? Um, and let's see what else. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't. I found out that only 20% of you who watch my readings actually are subscribed. 80% of you are not subscribed. So please subscribe if you watch. Um, hit that like button for me. Leave me a comment. Let me know how this reading was. Um, I try to respond to everybody. Okay. Hope to see you in the extended. This is really interesting. We're going to look more into this and figure this out. And uh, if not, I'll see you next month. Bye. Coming in or fire, a new fire coming in that is going to shift the energy in this connection. Okay. Whoa. Okay. What is the new energy coming in for this connection, please? What is the new energy coming in for this connection? 
Eight of Swords in Reverse. Wow. Somebody is no longer going to be in a self-sabotaging energy. Somebody is no longer going to sabotage this connection. It's like they've seen the light. They've seen what they want and they're not going to sabotage it anymore. They're not going to release or like maybe, maybe somebody keeps walking away from this connection. Three of Swords. Wow. There has been a lot of heartbreak in this connection. I'm seeing, okay? Um, but ultimately, where things were stuck, I'm seeing that it's not gonna like, it's not gonna be stuck any longer. Ooh, Knight of Cups. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> we got, wow. 